That's it. The last ride. We're gonna take it down to the uh, to the shipper. We're gonna go down to the Ralph's parking lot so we can load it. And uh, she's off to New York City. And uh, I don't know, man. It's weird. I hope that I uh, hope that Nick and his family take a lot of pictures and send them back to us. And uh, I hope she has fun in New York. Don't drive it when there's salt on the road. There's enough rust to her knee. goes and down to meet the truck look here's something you don't see every day I was, uh, hidden hidden behind the uh, license plate all these times eh? yeah so first is left and up I can drive it in there for you okay <laughs> <laughs> my baby two and a half years painting this sucker man wow. <laughs> she runs good. The detail is unbelievable. Hopefully, hopefully Nick will drive it up to Woodstock at least once. The winner. Yes. He'll take it to Wood. He got to take it to Woodstock. <coughs> I mean, you're, you're there. I don't know how far. How far is Woodstock from New York City? Maybe an hour and a half. Yeah, he can do it. And she'll make it. Now, how'd you come up with the whole? Well, see, that's a good story. He hates he hates hippies, so we bought this together. Says the guy wearing and take a bath hippie. She take, a, take a bath hippie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice that. So I told him we it was supposed to go to his house, and I said, if you don't come get it, I'm gonna start painting it like a hippie van. But he never came and got it. So really, <laughs> that was a bad joke. It backfired. About halfway through it. it that's when I realized how big it was. Yeah. Now, you look at one of these pictures, you know, like this picture, each one of these takes like four hours. And I walk around and do the math, you know, it's like, oh my God. And it's pinstriping paint, so you, you know, you'd have to paint the yellow and wait till that dries and you're working on this. And then you have to come back and highlight the yellow and then go back and work on this. And so you had to keep jumping around because otherwise the pinstripe paint will bleed. Right. So yeah. it just took forever. See, yeah. there's me and him. <laughs> uh, that's the best story right here. We're, we're at a show in the desert, right? And this guy yells, he says, hey man, you got my Jimmy on there. So we go and park and later on he walks over. He's like, hey man, I said, oh, you like Jimi Hendrix? He said, no, I took that picture in 1967. Really? I'm like, what? And we looked him up on the phone because we thought, yeah, he's bullshit. Right. His name was Ed Kareff. He actually took this. We had him autograph it. And he got in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for that picture. It's the only picture that's been on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine twice. It's like one of the most famous that Jimi is, Hendrix pictures. Awesome. What are the odds of that, right? You're in the middle of the desert. <laughs> I'm like, and he lives in Santa Monica, right? We're out in Arizona. He's like, hey, I took that picture. Yeah, right. You yeah, did, yeah, you know? sure, like, yeah. We're right. looking about, what's your name again? <laughs> yeah. And we look, holy crap, it is you. And then he was such a cool guy. He's like, I'll send you some pictures they never published. And I got home and here's a picture of him and Jimi Hendrix shooting pool together. I'm like, so cool, dude. So we had him autograph it. That's the actual autograph. Ed Kreff, a Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, has autographed this bus. No. Yeah, it was weird, man. This bus has just had like so many stories. Weird things happen to it, man. Okay, break a set. Actually, I can get out here. I thought it'd be too fast. <laughs> <sighs> that is 
is so cool. My baby. <laughs> Love you, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's sad. Don't think about it. I mean, <laughs> got rid of a thousand cars in my life, but I never put so much into one. <laughs> Which is weird because I worked on a bunch more than this one, but I never. I mean, <clears throat> I feel stupid. <laughs> I feel very stupid. Well, well. What you call a ratchet strap? And we are good. A little bit of cushion. She's ready to go across the country. I wore my hat for New York. That's where she's going. Yeah, so. 1969. Hey, I'm sorry, 69. 1969. Same year as Woodstock. I'll call the. Did you talk to the buyer? You, you've been communicating? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm, I told him I shoot him an email as soon as we, uh, we you picked it up. Okay. Yeah, and just tell him I will call him 24 hours before delivery. Okay, I will do that for you. Hopefully Nick will take some pictures and uh, we'll see it in New York and hope it brings everybody lots of years of joy. We gotta get started on something new. <laughs> quick. <laughs> now I get withdrawals. Bye-bye, <laughs> ah. baby. <laughs> Safe travels to you, my friend. Thank you. You, you have a good, fun. good trip. Thanks, man. Ready? Gotta keep those love good vibrations happening.